Hi, I'm Katherine Harrington, and welcome to Tent Peg TV, connecting you to your local Christian community. Um, today in the studio, I have my dear friend Crystal Granger with me, and I'm really excited to uh, for her to share what it is she does. Very interesting, and so I think you're really going to enjoy it. Crystal does names and boxes, so we're going to kind of find out what that's really all about. Um, hey, Crystal. Hi. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Thank you for okay, having so. me. Good. Well, you know, we love. I love what you do. I think it's really important, and I think it'll be a great asset for our audience to kind of understand a little bit more about names and the importance of it. So, what I'd kind of like to know, my first question would be, how did you get started with researching names the way that you do? Well, <clears throat> I actually went through a period of, of change and transition in my life, and during that uh, transition and change, there was a lot of loss that occurred. But in the middle of all of that loss, I felt impressed one day to look the meaning of my name up. And when I did, I, was, I, I could hear God saying to me, this is who you are, and this is who I've called you to be. And I was blown away. Like, I, I realized that most of my life I had been living the opposite of who I was. And so I began to study my name out. You know, my name means brilliantly clear. And as I began to study that out, I thought, wow. And I was so changed by, by what it meant, I thought, everyone needs to know who they are. And so I began to studying other, other people's names because I wanted them to be able to walk out their God-given identity as well. So you think our name's not just a name, in other words, it's not just by chance. No. It actually, does it shape us? I mean, how does that, has, has that actually work? Like, I know my name means pure, but what does that mean? Yes, absolutely. Our names are so important, and, the, and our names do shape us. Um, all throughout the Bible, their you know their destinies were tied to the meanings of their names. You know, even Adam and Eve. You know, Adam didn't just randomly name names. You know, he there were there were meanings behind him. He named Eve Eve because her name meant life, and that's what she brought was life. And so I think it's very important that we know who we are and what it is that our name means because you know, our destinies are tied to that. That's kind of interesting. Um, now, you don't just give a single name, like, you actually unfold over and over and over. The, she goes into great depths as to what your name means. And how do you go about doing all that research on that? Well, I study the names, and for instance, this name here, um, Melanie. And as I begin to study this name, it, it means black, dark, and that's kind of negative, but as I begin to study it further, what I, what, I, what I found was that she was a philanthropist, and she freed thousands of slaves. Um, and so she actually, black, dark, where that came into play was, she went into the dark places to bring freedom to those who were enslaved. And so if your name is Melanie, that's what you carry inside of you, the ability to be able to go into the dark places to bring light and to bring freedom to, to people who have been held captive and who are bound. So even if it comes up with something kind of negative, it's actually never negative. Your name never means anything negative. Right, I always find the positive. There's always the positive, and I always find that. That's really great. And um, well, I know that also you do boxes. Yes. So that's kind of uh, interesting. Want to tell us a little bit about that? How'd you come up with that? I mean, what is, what's the purpose of these beautiful boxes? Yes, boxes is, um, I had a friend, and he was he was uh, really struggling. He was he's an artist, and just an incredible, amazing artist. But he was having a really hard time. He had a friend that passed away, and and he was struggling with depression mm. and alcohol. And and I felt impressed after I left. Um, I felt God say to me, "Make him a box." And so I said, "Okay," but I didn't have any idea what a box was. I went home and prayed about it. <laughs> And I felt like I was supposed to buy this box that was representative of who he was as an artist and fill it with all of these things that spoke life. And so that's, that's what I did. And when I gave him the box, he was so um, moved by it. You know, um, afterwards, I, God would continue to lay people on my heart. And so I would continue to make these boxes just randomly for different people. After a year of doing that, people started coming up to me asking me, can we pay you to make a box mm -hmm. for so-and-so? But here's an example of a box. This is, um, this is for a lady. Her, um, well, we filled a box with all of, with, uh, it's full of cards and things that speak life. Um, full of quotes, verses, scripture. 
and whatever else we feel like God's leading us to put it into the box. But each box is geared specifically to that individual person, to where they are at that point in their life. And this particular box is for a lady whose husband's passed away. And so it's, it's, it's cards just full of, you know, life. Mm. And, you know, and we put little gifts in there. This is just um, bath salts. But we felt like, you know, she has a hard time being at peace and being at rest. And, you know, the bath salts just represent rest. Mm -hmm. You know, what woman doesn't like to, mm -hmm. you know, get in a, get in a tub and, and just relax? So that, but that also, to me, I guess if I were receiving that box and I saw the bath salts, I'd think, well, the Lord is, is telling me to rest. Yes, absolutely. To be at peace and to rest. And so they're kind of prophetic as they go along. And yes. I see you have something that's a little more masculine there. Yes. So. They're all, every box is different. This is, um, this is more of a man's box. I, I love this box. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, every box is different. And then we have this box here as well, which is really cool. You and I were talking about this earlier. Uh -huh, it's so pretty. It's a peacock and um, so it's very artsy. That's great. Well, I know that the boxes are one thing and they certainly do minister and I know you put people's names in there as well, but I'm going to go back to the names a little bit okay? because to me that's like totally fascinating. I know that um, when you did my name as well, when I, when I brought it home and, and looked at it, I had no idea because every time, I, I don't know about you, but every time I go on the internet and look up a name, I get one word. <laughs> Crystal, you go so much deeper. So how do you go about all of that research? Well, I, you know, I, I study the name out. For instance, my name means brilliantly clear. But then I take the word brilliant and I study that out. I use the dictionary, I use the thesaurus, and then I use the Bible. And then I, I study the word clear. And the cool thing about our names is it's not just who you are, but it's what you have to offer other people. Oh, so, that's interesting. Yeah, so if my name means brilliantly clear, as I spend time in the Word and as God brings clarity into my life and, and revelation and, and wisdom and knowledge of, of the scripture, I in turn will, will be able to bring clarity into other people's lives where there's not been clarity before because Ooh, it's twofold. That is totally awesome. So they're actually living out their right. life then. Right, exactly. So Because identity is, is really wrapped up in this. It's not by chance. Now we have some interesting names now coming. Uh, and so what do you do with that? Um, interesting as in difficult? Yes. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of, it's almost made up names. It's not like um, when I was a kid, you know, it was Dick, Jane, and, you know, and Susie. <laughs> right. It's a little challenging now. There are some interesting names. For instance, Cameron, you would think that's a common name, mm -hmm. or, or, you know, not too, you know, uncommon, but his name, Cameron means crooked nose. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so sir. <laughs> I had a hard time with that one and it took me a couple days because I had to really study it. But as I as I went back and studied, really where it derived from was, you know, Cameron was a he was a warrior and he fell in love with this girl. But in order to win her heart he had to fight this other guy. And in the process of this battle he got his nose busted and that's where the crooked nose came in. Oh. But Really, you know, I don't focus on the crooked nose. I focus on the part that he was a warrior and he was a fighter and he fought for what it was that he loved. And that's encouraging. Yeah. I think that's really great. So, well, if your name is Cameron, you're a fighter. <laughs> <laughs> Watch it because you're going to get a broken nose. That's just so great, it is. Crystal. It's pretty funny. Now, do you, <laughs> I'm sure you come up with some things, but you know, I know you do such an awesome job on it. And, um, and, I, and I know it really brings a lot of clarity to people and encouragement. Yeah. Um, and it kind of, I don't know, when you read it, it kind of makes you swell up a little bit. You're like, wow, you know, I'm, I didn't know that about me. Or I, you know, I really see that now and I really understand that. And so I think you can begin to walk it out a little bit more because that's part of it too, yes. right? Walking out your destiny. Yes. Um, for, for my name, you know, when I started studying my name, I realized that most of my life I had lived the opposite of what my name meant. So you were what? Not a crystal Not, not a crystal clear. clear. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I'm blonde and I, I've heard all the, bl the dumb blonde jokes. And, oh, so. You know, mm -hmm. And I'm very right brained. And, and so, you know, everything was always a little difficult for me. What is right brained? What do you mean? Right, right brain, brain, very artsy. You know, even in school, they teach from the left brain. They teach as if you're a left brain student. And, you know, every, everybody's different. Mm -hmm. And so it just always took me a little longer to catch on to things. And, you know, not because I'm not brilliantly clear, but that's, you know, I'm just 
who I am. Mm -hmm. And um, well, you're brilliantly clear. Brilliantly to me. clear. Um, but you know, I had to. You know, there were a lot of things even that were spoken over me that were untruths growing up. And so I had to go back and, you know, break all of that and repent. And even things that I had spoken over myself that weren't true. But as I began to study my name brilliantly clear, I began to speak that over myself. And as I began to speak that over myself, I began to change and I began to walk that out. That's totally amazing. So now, this is so incredibly good other than the fact that you do the boxes and, and you do names for people that you know, like me. Mm -hmm. um, do you go to schools? Do you do conferences? Can you teach? Is this something you can bring out and people can actually say, hey, I would love for you to come to our church and yes, teach absolutely. people? Or? I, I do. I, I do conferences. I do schools. And, um, you know, I travel some. And it's just, it's so, it's life-changing. When people hear about it, you know, they want to be blessed. They want to know who they are. They want to know what it is that they carry inside of them. And, I mean, it brings healing. It brings hope. It brings encouragement. It brings restoration. Um, it, it really changes you. And so, yes, I do teach at schools and I do teach at conferences. That's awesome. And, yeah. That is totally awesome. I remember one time um, at one of our uh, Schools of the Spirit, I think somebody uh, said a, a word. Uh, I forget exactly. I'm trying to think. It wasn't revival. It was something else. And you had gotten up and you did a study on that. And she did it on a Sunday morning service. And I'm telling you, it was so totally incredible, the revelation that came out of that. And as she spoke all of that and the meaning of, of what even that word meant, you could actually feel it. It was like being imparted to you. So um, so I'm sure when you, go, when you get up and do a name as well, I'll bet you even have experiences while you're out and about in the marketplace. I do. You know, I, I have a I have a large database. I've studied I study these names and it's so important to me and you know I've made it my personal goal to learn the meaning of everyone's name that I ever come in contact with. I know that's very big and lofty, but you know, that's that's, that's my, my heart. And that's my friend Crystal. That's my heart. <laughs> when I look at people, I, I don't want to have any kind of preconceived ideas or judgments. I want to immediately see them the way that God sees them. And I want to be able to, you know, treat them that way. Even if they're not walking it out, if you treat someone in that manner, they'll begin to change and they'll begin to walk that out. And so, yes, so in the marketplace, I sometimes come across people, come in contact with people randomly, and, you know, I'll just give them the meaning of their name. Well, if I were a ministry or a church or a school and I wanted you to come and talk about names and what it is you do and the importance of it, how would I get in contact with you? Well, you can reach me at releasingdestiny at gmail.com. Send me an email, and I'll, I'll be happy to reply back. Okay. So you're open to invitations. I'm open to invitations, absolutely. That is so totally awesome. Well, is there anything else that you'd like the audience to know or to share with them that maybe we haven't covered today that would be really important to them? Um, only thing that I can think of is if you don't have your name meaning or if you don't know, contact me because you will very you will you will just be very blessed. And I know that's true for a fact because my name, other than I knew it meant pure, got a whole list of stuff. And hey, you know what? I'm gonna go back home. I haven't read it read it in a while from the last time you gave it to me, Crystal. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna revisit it. I'm gonna look at it and I'm gonna start praying out those things because uh, I think it's important. And so I just want to thank you so much for coming and sharing. Um, you're a good friend. You're a great woman of God, and I just so appreciate, uh, appreciate your heart and, and the things that you do. So this is us signing off, Crystal Granger and Catherine for Tent Peg TV. I hope you had a really great time watching and learning all about names. And I encourage you, um, as my friend said, your name's important. It's not a mistake. You're not a mistake. And so um, have Crystal contact her. And, She'll let you know exactly what your name means, and you can begin to walk out your destiny. So be blessed, and um, we love you, and see you next time.